So we're in the Thames Tunnel, the Crossrail Tunnels approaching Woolwich Station. The drilling machines are designed so that we can drill all of the holes into the tunnel lining to fit all of the services such as the emergency escape walkway, uh, the cable management systems that carry all of the power and the overhead line that powers the actual trains themselves. So this is a first of its kind in the world, this machine. Uh, we have 42 kilometres of tunnels in the Crossrail project. Um, the holes that we're drilling here are for the services. Holes are drilled in roughly every other ring. Um, we have about 16 holes per ring. Um, that figures out are about 250 to 300,000 holes across the entire project. So in, a, in advance of the drilling machine actually carrying out the physical work of drilling the holes, um, there's two phases. The first phase is a 3D scan. So the 3D scan takes measurements along the tunnel at very small increments. Uh, it highlights key features. Um, once we have this data, it's laid out into a coordinate form. Um, and then there's a computer program which essentially lays segment templates out into a line, plots the hole positions for the brackets, um, and then allows us to check where the holes need to go before being input into the machine. Once they're input into the machine, then the machine can go ahead and drill the holes themselves. There's uh, the fact that we no longer need to set out the holes in advance. So traditionally, a surveyor would have to go along the tunnel, physically mark every position, for then someone to come in and manually drill it. The labourer and the guys aren't actually in physical contact with the tools, so they don't have the vibration through their arms and their hands. Um, this machine uses a, a predefined set of coordinates and, and the guidance so that it can actually come in and drill the holes just from single target references. So the target output of the machine is around 200 to 250 metres each shift. We have all 42 kilometres to do, so we're now focused on getting the machine through these tunnels as quickly as possible, making sure that we've got everything right first time and uh, we don't have to come back and rework again afterwards. So the machine moves itself in the tunnel using uh, one of two modes. So we have the railway mode, so running on directly onto the rail. And we also have a road mode, so we have road wheels which fit onto the vehicle and allow it to move in the tunnels before the track has been laid, as well as in this situation where it's already in. So once we have the machine inside the tunnel, um, we put some guide rollers out to come in contact with the tunnel lining. The purpose of these guide rollers are to make sure that the centre of the machine aligns with the centre of the tunnel, so that as the arms uh, rotate, they're rotating around the middle and then when they extend out, it makes sure the holes are in the correct position and the drills are perpendicular to the tunnel lining. Going forwards, this uh, sort of production line thinking approach can be taken to more of the uh, construction and the railway industry. Um, it's a method we can use to make things safer and faster and ultimately save time and money in, in large scale projects such as the Crossrail programme.